Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is our August edition of the top 5 tutorials for After Effects and we have some right bangers in this one today. As always, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos, subscribed and give us a like, and also for those of you who have signed up to our newsletter. Not much more to report this month on the free tool, and I probably should have just kept my mouth shut. But it is happening, and when I do actually have an update, I will let you know, so I'm not going to say anything until then. Alright, let's dig into these videos. In the first tutorial, Brooker Films shows us how to quickly and stylishly design and animate a graph. What's great about this is how we do everything within After Effects. We learn to use shape layers, a null layer and also some text layers. There are a few benefits to working like this. The first one is not relying on any third party plugins and the second is having the ability to hand the project off to someone and knowing they'll be able to open it without any issues. Check it out. The second video this month is by Yuan Pizzazz and not only is this a tutorial but it's also a workaround. Kes outlines a common issue with pasting text into After Effects from another source. This was something that was affecting me and truthfully I thought it was more me as opposed to it being After Effects but we get shown the issue and then how to solve it. This will no doubt be fixed in the near future but it's good to know and it's a great workaround. The third tutorial is by Panda, and this is really cool. We learn how to add a motion trail effect to a logo by using the echo effect. This is very simple, yet the results look incredible. We start with a vector logo that is converted to a shape layer, and from here we apply the echo effect, and then we animate the title. You'd actually be able to use this effect on many things, well in fact probably everything, but what makes this look really cool is the logo is actually a white outline on a black background and it creates quite a mesmerizing look. This is definitely one to remember. The fourth tutorial this month is by Visual Effects Studio Kaliba and I hope I got that right but this is a killer video. What you learn is how to shoot the required shots and then composite them so you can get the effect of being sucked into a vacuum. I'm really digging this trend it's been around for a while and it just keeps getting better. And really with tutorials like this, it really helps push the format. The fifth and final video of our roundup is by Lauren. Lauren creates popular edits using After Effects and shares them on Instagram. This is a whole new world to me, but one I would like to learn more about. What you'll learn in this video is the process Lauren goes through to recreate some famous TV titles. It's always a good insight in how people work and how they solve their problems along the way. There is a lot to this tutorial, so I'd check it out and I'd learn as much as you can. Keep it up, Lauren. All right, well, thanks again, guys. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification icon too. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments and also head over to our website, aftereffectsbeginner.com and sign up to our newsletter.